from beautiful downtown Prestonburg, Kentucky, it's the MWO Podcast on Patreon. Hosted by one half of the ballers and shot callers of Horror Talk Radio, a man who's been creepy as fuck since 1980, it's the creepy Kentuckian. Take it away, Bulls. Howdy folks and welcome. It is the September 28th edition. No, 22nd. I don't know what the fuck day it is. 22nd. There we go. And uh, Creepy Kentucky is on here with a good friend of mine, Aaron, a.k.a. Foz Rotten. What's going on, dude? What's up, everybody? Thank you, sir, for having me out tonight. Well, I just had to. You've got that Sonny Landum Rule shirt on. <laughs> you know, and as a as a patron, I was able to get this days early, uh, earlier than everybody else. I'm just saying, man. That's right. You got to get up on that. Do you have any... Uh, whether it be good or bad experiences in a the theater that you can recall just right off hand. I always say that the worst movie I've ever seen, I've never walked out of a movie my entire life. I've, I've stayed strong. Even those Lord of the Rings movies where I had to pee at hour two, I stayed an extra hour. Halloween two, dude, Rob Zombie's Halloween two. When that fucking white horse came on, I was done. I checked out and I was like, no, no. I think I may have watched the Blu-ray that was the the director's cut of it's even worse. I, I didn't bother. I didn't bother. I, I've seen that once and I've seen the theatrical once. And but, I was contemplating maybe checking it out again, but I don't know. I have it. It's in that uh, Screen Factory set, right? That, that'd be the only way I have it. Yeah. Yeah. For me, uh, you know, one of the worst experiences I, I would say would be the Fog remake when we saw that in the theaters. <laughs> I just seriously wanted to leave. Like That's we, we stuck it out, but man, I mean that was that had to be one of the worst that we've ever seen in the theater. I got I got to say that's actually one of the few movies I've never finished. I've tried so many times to start it. It's on um Stars. My wife has the Stars app cuz she watches that Outlander show or whatever. Mm-hmm. And um I tried. I just tried one. I was like one in the morning. I was bored. I was like, I need something to put me asleep. I can't get past the first 10, 15 minutes. I it's un, unbearable. Dude. Yeah, it's bad. I'll tell you another one though. You mentioned that is it help you put you to sleep. Here's another one. This is like, this is like 10 milligrams of melatonin almost instantly. As soon as you put it on, have you ever seen David Lynch's Dune? Oh from- yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> So I got that to review. Uh, the, they did a new 4K. Hey, the 4K of it looks fucking amazing. It looks beautiful. It was the shot, packaging looks awesome. Yeah, it shot 70 millimeter, right? So you know it's going to be, it looks looks insane. But almost from the first minute of that movie, you're getting ready to, you're passing out. Give us the thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a if you do. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't care. Let's, let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to touch nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you dare yeah. touch it. Thumbs up subscribe and click that bell thank you to all of our supporters on patreon dead pit on patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old dead pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries exclusive podcasts and much more Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears started only $1.